wanted to jump on here and give y'all a quick cover stitch tutorial. We're gonna talk about settings and then we're going to hem a few things. So I have the Brother cover stitch 2340 CVC. I think that's probably one of the more popular ones out there because it's pretty inexpensive. Um, so my settings, I was super confused on how to do everything, but what I did was I went to the um, cover stitch, I think it's the Brother Cover Stitch Facebook group, and I literally just posted a picture of my stitching and I said that I needed help. And so many people jumped on there and helped me figure out all the right settings and everything. So if you ever need extra help, I highly suggest joining that group, ask all the questions you need. Um, I'll link that in the description. So for my cover stitch, what works for me? So I have the rightmost needle out. It could um, have three needles, but I don't need the three needles. I like just the two, the way that looks. So the furthest right I have taken out, so I just have these two. My tensions are all at four. Over here, my settings are the differential is at this first dot past the one, and I have the stitch length here at three. So what I have done to help me get the most even and best looking hems is I have taken this piece of painter's tape and I lined it up right there at the second little hole thing. Let's put it all the way down and I'll show you how I use that. And I also took a Sharpie and I put a little dot right here. And that helps me when I'm doing like binding and um, top stitching, but we'll do that in another video. Okay. So we're going to hem two sleeves and a skirt piece. So what I do on this part is I've done it so many times I can just kind of eyeball it. I want, I usually do pretty small hems. I feel like that just works the best for me. And I have it to where this will line up here. And then once you fold it over, the outside will line up right here. And that's how you, and you keep them straight on there. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this about that much, about a little less, maybe like a quarter inch. And I go ahead and I just place it on there. And I put it just before the needles, put my my foot down and then I go in here and I check that this is lined up here and it is so I'm not gonna pull because that'll stretch it out and see how this part is lined up right there where the machine separates get that started and then what I do is it's a process but every few stitches you wanna to check to see that you're still lined up on both sides. And you'll get faster with it as you do it. Lift up and check. Check again. Now when I do sleeves, I like to go ahead and chain stitch them just to make sure that everything catches because the brother cover stitch can be kind of finicky and sometimes it skips, sometimes it like doesn't, it doesn't stitch. So I'm gonna leave that there, fold it, lift it up. And then I'm doing the same thing. Mommy. Mommy. I see. Okay. 
to finish off your stitching, you have to do it a special way on the cover stitch. How I do it is I take my screwdriver that came with the machine. This is to take the um, needles in and out. I take this, I thread it behind these two threads. I take my fingers and there are these switches up here and that's what opens the tension so that you can slide them in and out. You press both of them at the same time and as you're holding them down, you pull out your threads. Don't pull hard, but just pull them out. I pull them out about to the edge of the cover stitch. You let go. I put my finger over here, lift up the foot, and then go under here. I need to raise this a little bit. Go under here and pull the threads out from underneath. And then from here, you cut them. And then you can gently pull out your stuff. And then I'm just gonna go and cut where I had chain stitched that. And you have a nice hem. Okay, so now we're going to hem this skirt piece and we'll be hemming it not flat we'll be hemming it in a circle but it's the same method as you hemming anything else so i'm actually gonna cut off these little tails here because they just get in the way and then i take it fold it down about a quarter of an inch like last time. Put it under my machine and start stitching. Make sure, you know, you check. nearing where we started, I'm going to go ahead and snip these threads and then go underneath. I like to kind of pull it a little to tighten it. Snip this thread underneath and then be real careful as you come up on these stitches because you want them to overlap pretty nicely. So I'm just going real careful and watching overlap, raise your needles, and we're gonna lock them in place just like we did with the sleeves. Thread it behind here, press the buttons up on top on the needles, pull it out, put your finger back here, raise the foot, pull them out from underneath, and then snip them. And then you can pull them out and snip here too. And there you go. Everything's nice and even. Looks good.